everyone, I just got home and I was about to get stuck into The Poison Season, which is my current read. I'm only 20 pages in. But just when I was about to start this, there was a ding dong on the doorbell and guess what it was? A book delivery, which we're always excited for, but I didn't know what this would be today and it ended up being 19 Steps by Millie Bobby Brown. And yes, the very same Millie Bobby Brown of Stranger Things of Enola Holmes, and she's written a book. I remember the first time I heard about her having a book. I knew I just had to read it, so I'm so excited to read this. I have no clue what it's going to be like. I don't know what to expect, but big thank you to HQ Books for sending this over. Cannot wait to read it. This is a historical fiction, which is definitely a genre that I don't read from often. And when I do decide to pick up historical fictions, they're generally not war-based. And this is a book that's based on World War II. I have somewhat high hopes because I feel like Millie's a very creative person, obviously being an actor, and she has produced a few things. Like, I think she was a producer of Enola Holmes, and that was a great movie. But I don't know what this is really going to be about. Um, obviously the war, but its specifics, I have no clue. But I'll read you the blurb now. It says, London, 1942. Despite the raging war, spirited 18-year-old Nellie Morris lives a quiet life in the tight-knit East End community of Bethnal Green. Her family and friends all tease that she will marry air raid warden Billy, the boy next door, who's always been sweet on her. The arrival of Ray, a handsome American airman stationed nearby, causes Nellie to question everything she thought she knew about her future. Nellie's newfound happiness is short-lived when a tragic accident occurs during an air raid. Even the closest family can't escape the devastation of war, and as the secrets and truth about that fateful night become clear, they threaten to tear Nellie and those dearest to her apart. The tagline on the front also says, Love blooms in the darkest places. So, a romance. A wartime romance. And I also believe that this book it's inspired by events that has happened to her family. I read the acknowledgements and she mentions her Nanny Ruth. So is it about Nanny Ruth? Who knows? And this book is 372 pages. I'm going to start this and then we'll see how it goes. Is Millie Bobby Brown actor turned author? Who knows? Remember when I said that I was going to go and read this book so I could get back to you on how it is? Well, it's been like three hours and I haven't read a single page. And that is because I was editing my assignment that was due today and it ended up being like 22 pages. So it took a long time, but I finally submitted that, which is great. Got it in on time. But yes, I've been meaning to read this book. But then there was another ring of the doorbell and I ended up getting Bright Young Women from Macmillan this time. So thank you very much. But I am very excited to read this. Although this is not what I'm reading this vlog. I am reading 19 Steps, of course. Of course. But this is by Jess Canole, who also wrote The Luckiest Girl Alive, which did get turned into a movie last year, I think on Netflix with Mila Kunis in it. So I'm hoping this will be really good because obviously she must be a good writer if one of her books got turned into a movie already. But I think this is a psychological thriller. I'm looking forward to reading that. But now I'm actually going to start this so I will let you know how it goes after I've read maybe a chapter. I'm literally cheering up. I knew it was a war book but I didn't expect it to be this sad. I'm 50 pages in um, and I think that's like what? I am just started chapter 6 but... I did not expect that so soon too. My gosh. Ah. It's the next day and I'm 130 pages into this book. Sorry for like the absolute terrible lighting in these next few clips. Don't know why I decided to face away from the window. What was I thinking? Who knows, but sorry. <laughs> um, we have met the love interest, Ray, who is the American. And it's all going well at the moment. Like they all seem happy. Everything's okay. So I'm like kind of nervous because obviously there's a, a lot to go and they're in a war. So is Ray going to die? But so far the writing's quite good and it is interesting. So I am looking forward to finishing this. It's 10 o'clock now. So uh, I ended up reading like 100 pages yesterday, so I've only read 30 pages today. I do have to go to the library to pick up some books that I had on hold. Um, so I'm going to go do that. And then hopefully I'll get to more of this today. We'll see though. 
why is it so sad? My gosh, um, it's not going too well for the family. I'm up to chapter 24. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've finished. I have finished 19 steps. And as you would have seen, I, it did elicit some emotions. I did have a good cry last night. I wasn't expecting it to be as sad as it was. And I mean, that was stupid on my part because as if a war book wouldn't be sad. Now, I'd be interested to see how much of this story is actually like based on real things that her grandma experienced. I'm not too sure, like her nan's name was Ruth and there was a character named Ruth in this story but she died pretty early on in the book. So I don't, I don't know what's happening there. Is Nellie Ruth? Who knows? Who knows at this point? But um, the book was good. I think I'm going to give it like a three stars. It was like a good book. I enjoyed it. Um, and I did have a good look at some Goodreads reviews and people are saying that this is ghost written and it, I think it is, um, which does make sense. I mean, I was questioning how Millie would have enough time in between filming her movies and TV shows to write a book. It just doesn't, it didn't line up for me. So it does make sense that she has a ghost writer. Um, as for that writer's abilities, I would say it was good. Definitely not the best writing I've ever seen, but it was easy to read, I guess. And I have seen some articles online that apparently Millie wasn't involved in the actual writing process at all, since it is like a story from her family. She told that story to the ghostwriter and then the writer wrote the book, from what I've heard. I don't really know, but yeah. It's very interesting to hear about all of that. And I have seen like lots of people criticizing Millie on social media about not even acknowledging the fact that she had a ghostwriter, which she has since fixed. She was posing with the writer, I believe on Instagram, um, saying how she couldn't have done this without her, which does make sense if she wrote the book. I would also like to say that even though like people were saying how she didn't give credit to the author, um, she did though. I just noticed like when I was editing the video that when I was opening the page, it literally says with Kathleen McGill, is that how you would say it? I don't know. But like, it's there, maybe not on the cover, but she definitely acknowledged it. So just thought I would mention that because maybe some people that were saying that she was never going to mention the fact that there was a ghost rider, well she didn't have to. I mean, that's the point of a ghostwriter, but she did mention it and she has posted on the Instagram. So there we go. That's all I want to say. I feel like it's a common thing for celebrities, I guess, or like actors or whatever. If they were to write a book, it would be written with the help of someone else or majority would be with someone else. And I feel like that's expected. Also, since she's so busy. I mean, if she wanted to have the story out there, that's great. And if she had the means to do so, great again. Don't know if her name should be that big on the book, though. It does take up just as much space as the title. Um, but I guess that's what's going to sell the book. People are buying books based on authors. And if you see an actor that you love as an author of a book, maybe it will get you to read the book. And, I mean, it got me to read it. So, marketing works, I guess. But for me, as a person that doesn't really read, like, war-based historical fiction, like, doesn't enjoy that, I still found this book quite enjoyable. It was definitely predictable in some bits. But then again, I don't know if that's predictable because it's, like, tropes in a story that you would think of, or because it's real life. And sometimes you can predict how things go in real life. Like, I don't know how real this book is, which is what's confusing me. I'm like, how do I, how do I review this book and say this was good, this was bad, if it's someone's actual life? I don't know. But it was good. I did enjoy it. I read it in, like, three days. So, yes, overall, this book for me was a three stars. I would recommend you read it if you are a fan of the historical fiction genre 
or if you're a fan of Millie Bobby Brown and you would like to see how her book is, I would definitely give it a go. And this book is out now, I believe, elsewhere in the world, but if you are in Australia, you will have to wait a few more days. It is releasing on the 20th of September in Australia, so you will be seeing it in all your bookshops super soon. But that is all I have to say about 19 Steps by Millie Bobby Brown. I would be interested to know if you plan on picking this up, so let me know in the comments. But if you did like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below because I post new videos every single Saturday, so you do not want to miss it. But I will see you next week with a new video. Goodbye.